Man, true story. I had a chance to audition for Showtime at the Apollo, right, when it was up and running. I had to drive from Houston to Atlanta to make the audition. At the time, back in Texas, I owned a horse, okay? My horse was like six months old, it was a newborn. I told my grandfather, I said, hey, is it okay if I leave my horse in your yard? I see your grass and grew up. I just wanna let my horse eat your grass for a couple of days while I'm gone, is that okay? He said, sure, grandson, go ahead and pursue your dream. I'm like, yes, thank you, Papa. Let me tell you how ignorant my goddamn grandfather was. <laughs> Nigga, I wasn't even gone a whole damn day before this man came calling my phone, harassing me about my horse being in his yard. And he had just told me I could leave the bastard in there. I can't make this shit up. This out of conversation went, Brrk. Blame. I said, what's going on, Papa? You need to come get your horse. I said, what's going on? He done jumped on me. I said, he done jumped on you. He said, I'm all right, though. Come get your horse, because he hungry. I said, he hungry. When I left your yard, was full of grass. He said, he didn't ate it all. And he drinking water from up under his air conditioner. And I don't want him to die in my yard. And there's shit everywhere. I didn't plan on all this shit being in my yard. I said, okay, Papa, I ought to be back. I ought to be back in a day. He said, nigga, he'll be dead by then. He said, you need to hurry up because Peoples is complaining. I said, Peoples is complaining? What Peoples, Papa, the horse in your yard? You know what this nigga said? I'm the people, goddammit. I said, man, let me hurry up and go get this goddamn horse before I wind up on the news. All them people from the ASPCA come out. And I'ma tell you something, when you own an animal, the last thing you wanna do is wind up on the news. I had them people from the ASPCA come out and film your ass, cause if you do, your ass in trouble. Anybody in here work for the ASPCA? I wanna say, fuck you. I hope you catch a flat on the way home. Cause there don't be nothing wrong with them animals they be showing on TV. It be that sad ass music they be playing. Let me tell you right now, nigga, my horse could have had an eye booger, a running nose, and half a ponytail. And if they played that sad ass song, you think I was neglecting my goddamn animal. DJ, can you play it for me? Does anybody have a tissue for this poor little pony? We just want to wipe his eyes and blow his nose. And with your donations, we can get it another ponytail. You see the cat? on TV with one eye looking all sad and depressed and shit. Nothing wrong with that goddamn cat. Cats jump gates sometimes and sometimes they lose their eye. You see the dog with three legs look like he get a fucking disability check. Cut it, cut it, nigga. What they don't tell you was the dog was born that way, nigga. That song is the devil! Make you feel sorry for anybody! I'm telling you right now, I'm from the hood, I done been through a lot, seen a lot, at least that's what I thought. I had just exited the freeway, I had a homeless panhandling man run up on my truck begging me for money. But the nigga had the song in the background. Play it, DJ. He know he ain't got shit in his pocket. What the fuck is this? What is this? Cut it, cut it, accident, like a nigga $50. I'm like, damn. back to the beginning, I'm gonna tell you when to play. Wait a minute, let me tell you something, fellas. You could be out on a date right now tonight. You done bought these comedy tickets, filled up the tank, nigga, that's a bill in itself. Right? Ladies, he wants you, and he deserve you, goddammit, for to get you to play, fellas. Listen up, this is what you do when you take your date home tonight. As Soon as you pull up to her house, you go, damn. She gonna say, what? Man, I forgot to use the restroom at the comedy club. 
Is it okay if I come inside real quick, use your bathroom? I just really don't want to drive across town with all this on my bladder like that. I promise I'll be a gentleman. I'll go right in and come right out, and I'll be on my way. I had such a great time. Fellas, when she let you in that house, you go in that bitch, you get butt, ass, naked, DJ. <laughs> Pay for everything. <laughs> hey, I'm blaming the comic, man. Y'all enjoy it. <laughs>